Welcome to Lecture 24 of Biology 115, entitled Population Ecology. As we move forward and sort of close out Biology 115, we're going to be looking at a lot of ecological concepts and ideas, and we're going to begin our true study of ecology by understanding ecology from the population perspective. And before we go any further, we're going to begin this study by understanding a basic introduction of the ideas behind population ecology. So we're going to entitle this first flowchart, Introduction. In this introductory flowchart, we'll look at some key terms and key ideas to work off of for the rest of the flowcharts and the rest of this lecture. When we think of ecology, this is our first formal lesson, first formal lecture on the term ecology and on the topic of ecology, we have to understand that ecology defines as the following. Ecology is the study of interactions. That's the big idea here. Study of interactions. That's our key word when we think of ecology. And specifically, we have to mention who the interactions are between. What are these interactions? They're specifically going to be between uh, living organisms. So we'll say living organisms, O-R-G-S for organisms and also we cannot forget that ecology is going to be our first sort of part of biology 115 that's going to actually also include the interactions with the physical environment and we're going to be seeing this much throughout uh, the next couple of lectures on ecology moving forward this lecture is specifically entitled population ecology so it proves great dividends to really figure out what it means uh, when we say the word and the term population, which we can understand right over here with this part of the flowchart. So, population is not a new term to us, it is not a new idea, but it's worth reiterating what a population simply means in terms of our study today, population ecology. This is going to be considered the following. We can broadly define a population as a group of, and I will say potentially, so we're going to say potentially in quotes or in parentheses, because we know this doesn't always happen, and we just hope that it does, a group of potentially sexually interbreeding organisms, so that's a key component to a population, they have to be sexually interbreeding, they have to be able to mate with each other, group of sexually interbreeding organisms of the same species, of the same species, and I'm going to write SP for species, I'm only writing one P in this situation because I'm only focusing on one species and not many species of the same species, and now we also have to add on the fact that this population must be living in the same place at the same time. Living in same place at same time. So this is a very big, broad definition. Big ideas to get through this are the following. In population ecology, when we mention a population, we're thinking of things that can sexually interbreed, organisms that can sexually interbreed, thus they are the same species under the biological species concept, if we remember, and they must also, now look at this, this idea of the living organisms and the physical environment we're about to involve. They must be living in the same place at the same time, two components of a physical environment that we'll be looking at as we move forward. In addition, because these organisms are sexually interbreeding at the same place at the same time, they're going to be sharing what we already have termed a common gene pool. Share a common gene pool. And this is going to be uh, uh, just a collection of genes that natural selection can work off of. And what natural selection will do is it will notice these genes, it will notice the fact that there's a common gene pool amongst this species, and we will have changes. And those changes will occur at the allele level. The allele frequency changes will be specifically due to natural selection. Due to NS, natural selection. Now I know we mentioned before in a previous lecture that allele frequencies don't change, but that is only true, and that was in our microevolution lecture, if there is no evolution acting upon the population, if the population is rather stable. But if we do have a free-flowing, interacting population, interacting with the environment, interacting with other living organisms, of course natural selection will be involved. Of course evolution will be involved. And thus, we have to make sure we understand that allele frequencies will change for the first time in our study of evolution uh, directly, specifically in a population ecology level. And finally, last thing about population we should understand is that 
in this uh, population, we're going to have the following. Individuals with populations, okay, the individuals within populations. Now, this is where we get a lot of interactions. Remember, it's all about interactions in ecology. Individual within populations rely on same. This is a big idea here. Same resources. Same resources. So there are these resources in this physical environment that all of these individuals within this population, individuals, put an S there, have to rely on. And also, because they live in the same place at the same time, not only do they have to fight for the same resources, but they are also going to be influenced. All of these population, this population will be influenced by the same what we would consider environmental factors. And we're going to get into those envi environmental factors as we move forward with this lecture. So look at this idea. Individuals within populations rely on the same resources. Why? Because they live in the same place at the same time and they're the same species, so they probably need the same food, probably need the same uh, environment, probably need the same habitat. And thus there's a competition. Competition will of course lead to natural selection, of course because of the common gene pool that is going to be acted upon, and of course there are going to be environmental factors like weather, like storms, like anything in the environment, non-living specifically, that physical environment that will affect the population as a whole. So there are a lot of moving parts. That is the beauty of ecology. Many interactions are going to be looked at. And finally, in this introduction, we'll conclude by just looking at some final population ecology terms. So we'll call this pop eco terms. And these are important terms because we're going to be using them constantly throughout this lecture. So let's first quickly understand what it really means when we say population ecology. So PE for population ecology will be defined as the following. It is when we look at a population which has a number of IND for individuals, number of individuals of a species, one letter P, not two, because we're only focusing on one species within one population that's in the same place at the same time. Number of individuals of a species in an area, just like we established, in an area and its population dynamics. So that is a new term to us, and we're going to have to obviously figure out what are population dynamics. Population ecology is looking at a number of individuals within an area and the population dynamics on those individuals. So what are these population dynamics? Well, we can define them right over here. So what are pop dynamics? And of course, that means population dynamics. Population dynamics. And so here, what we're going to be doing is studying change. This is a big study of change in population. So we'll write that down. Study of change. I'm going to write that in capital letters because that's the key here. Study of change in populations. That's what population dynamics is all about. This is this change we're going to be looking at in our next flowchart. But for right now, what we want to focus on is that as a population ecologist, we want to figure out the change that is going on in this area at the same time between these sexually interbreeding, interbreeding organisms. And so that change is going to happen. And that change is going to happen for many different reasons. And our job as a population ecologist is to look at how that change happens and also why that change happens. So we're saying this study of change is basically figuring out how that change happens and why it happens. And then because we look at a population as a whole now, as an interacting whole, we're going to be determining the common processes that result out of this. Determine common processes. What is causing all of these individuals within this species to have this common process of change within the population dynamics that we're studying? So that's a big idea here, the idea that a population is dynamic, it's ever-changing. That's what dynamic is all about. Um, so we can move f further with these pop eco terms by also understanding what it means when we say population size. I know that might be very obvious, and it really is. Population size is simply the number of individuals. And when we say individuals, we mean one member of the species. Um, a number of individuals in the group at hand, let's say. I'll say in the group, just not, I don't want to say population when defining population size, but we'll just say group for this situation. You get the idea, population size. 
And finally, last term, another term that we'll look at a lot later um, in this lecture, but also cover, is population density. This is something that's very, very important when studying these interactions, especially in population ecology. Population density is defined as the following. It's the number of individuals of a particular species, number of individuals, IND for individuals, of particular particular species, one letter P, Y1, because we're only focusing on one particular species, um, per unit area. This is where we get a little bit fancy with our mathematical terms. Per unit area or even per unit volume, VOL for volume, at a given time. And that's all we're going to say for right now because we're going to be getting into population density a lot more as we move forward with the population ecology lecture. So overall, we've established an understanding of what ecology is, what populations are, how they both interact and create population ecology, and that study, which is understanding these dynamics based off of size and density within populations.